the news we are getting right now it happened on friday over 500 bandits barricade zamfara road in protest of the arrest of their leaders leaders fathers based on the report by 21st century chronicle on friday adu aleru and his younger brother sanata who are both notorious zamfara government wanted bandits allegedly connived with their colleagues to place the state under siege because of their father's arrest the father of the two bandits was said to have been arrested by the security operations at safe Katu market in the state on friday morning 21st century chronicle father said alleged he said a source as reporting that the two bandit siblings and their cohorts divided themselves into two groups each of which was led by either of them and why the one led by aleru Rodi on 500 bikes with three persons on each the other which sanata commanded was on 340 those who came from muhaye gathered about 500 bikes a native from muhaye told me he personally counted 400 bikes with three bandits on each and they and they from the east to safi maraba yakozu they counted 340 bikes if the total number of bandits that laid the siege is calculated it to be 500 bikes plus 340 bikes which is 840 bikes multiplied by three bandits on each that will be 2500 bandits this means that two brothers who are notorious bandits led 2520 of their fellow criminals in the same trade to barricade a major road for six good hours simply because their father was arrested by the government in a bid to get them and they still left the place unchallenged what aleru and sanata allegedly did was tantamount to daring the government to arrest them if they could a whole government what is really happening today it will be reported that the bandits and their hiders in the forest have been bombed up yes by tomorrow possibly the same marauders will be on duty and the situation of things was deteriorated to the extent that they are now challenging the government it will be recorded that one chalaga toji also recently dared the government in the same state by invading an entire village and kidnapping tens of the locals and travelers because of his father's arrest too the facts about the ugly trend of things above is that the government is really trying its best to stamp out the existence of the enemies of mankind but they tend to be operating under the fortitude of Fenaros godfathers behind the scenes an example is the case of boko haram if some of their financiers were not apprehended perhaps by now they would not be surrendering to the government 2500 500 bikes or whatever <laughs> it can only happen in the north and they will they will go scot free now that is what we, we we hear that is what we see but it can never happen in in other regions all these ones are not a threat to national security not at all they are contributing so well according to governments and they will come and tell you that say, oh they have repented and according to the international standard or the laws that they are not supposed to be killed they are not supposed to be touched why is it that our security agents are busy searching for ipod members why bandits are there daring them bandits are challenging them to come and arrest them but they are looking elsewhere hey what is actually happening food for serious thought exactly the security are after the defenseless and armless group instead of going after the armed bandits let our security personnel rise and do the needful so shameful bandits are protecting the arrest protesting the arrest of the father of the bandits and did did so unchecked bandits going about with over 500 bikes without any challenging them how and where are they fueling them without any security men noticing them and now where are the nigeria air force the government themselves know why they are leaving them free because they need them to rig election in 2023 again a simple truth they have um they they know what they are doing of course they know what exactly they are doing they are all from mauritania 
not Nigeria, Fulani bandits. The security agent said that the government does not need any arrest. The, the bandits should be free. This is embarrassing for bandits to block a highway for hours. Without attacking them, they had the gods to come out. Nothing happened possibly. You can imagine. You can imagine. Hmm. Hmm. This is serious answer. And someone will come and tell us that uh, uh, the government is trying its best. They are doing this. Before, Lai Mohamed used to tell us that uh, all this Boko Haram and the terrorist group that they have been technically defeated, but they have changed their language now that, uh, yeah, they are surrendering and there's nothing anybody can do about it because they can't do, they can't even, they can't execute them, they can't kill them. But when it comes to people who are protesting, because these guys protested, some people might be arguing, oh, how did you know that they are bandits? Let's assume that they, they were just protesters. But we know that if protest is going on, this kind of protest is going on in other places, in other regions, apart from the north, you know what would have been the end of the whole thing. We know what happened in Lagos the last time. So who is deceiving who? If really they are ordinary protesters, why is it that they were left to protest and at the end of the day they left unchecked? Six good hours. Six good hours. A whole six hours without a super Tucano jet reaching there. Buari is fighting crime in DJs. Exactly. Are you sure those jets are not in Boko Haram hands already? Secondly, are you sure they are not toys? Buari and his various gangs are really succeeding. Hmm, they are really, really succeeding. Nigeria is a joke, Joe. They know what they are doing. Eh? Exactly. Imagine bandits spend almost six hours without security eliminating them. What is different between bandits and Boko Haram? Let the bandits run and mock the more because not too long ago the Zamfara government and their infantile governor was going all over the place donating healers vehicles and large sums of money to these same bandits. Nigeria will definitely divide from the north. May the bandits continue to increase so that they can overrun the old um, northwest and not is this is what buari wants wish what is good for others as you wish for yourself <laughs> bandits now protesting nigeria this is laughable i beg now who do us bandits protesting <laughs> now who do us this you know is this not perfect time to clear them when they are alone without victims at so they didn't get a intelligence report yeah they will not get it what a useless and focusless government we have. The opportunity must have been seized to eliminate the criminals once and for all. But they came to display their gangsterism and left on hot. What a terrible thing. APC government is only against IPOB and Ududuas. Yeah, that is their, that is their mission. That is their mission.